Okay, so anybody that watches my channel or not knows that I've got a tendency to call out BS. And uh, today I'm calling out BS. So um, anybody that's wondering what kind of BS I'm calling out, and I'm going to try my best to make this a very informative video. So yesterday, gas prices dropped, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, let's see, that looks, that looks right. So anyway, gas prices dropped, and what happened was that, um, and, and on my side it looks backwards, so I hope it's not backwards for you, but um, I will read this, and actually it's upside down. There we go. So, there we go. Forgive me. I'm backwards, upside down, whatever here. So, <clears throat> gas dropped to 37, negative $37 yesterday uh, in surplus. Well, not gas, but crude oil. And uh, something interesting happened. It's like it was good news, clear across the board on gas stations. So if you're one of the people that uh, went out to go fuel up your vehicle, you may have been surprised to find out that gas stations, instead of dropping their price of oil because demand is zero and supply is overflowing, are gouging their customers. So... Today, regular gasoline was $1.59 a gallon. Uh, other parts of my town have been, uh, have been under $1.40 a gallon for a week. Now they're going up. This makes no sense when you have oil gushing out of the reserves and nowhere to go. So, I was charged $2. And of course, somebody wants to call me. And I'm not answering. Two dollars and seventy-two nine cents a gallon. Two dollars and seventy-two nine seven two nine. Almost you're heading towards three dollars a gallon there in an over surplus economy. Now, we have been in an over-surplus economy for two months because nobody's out there driving. But yet, gas prices continue to creep up. So, I want to call out Exxon. For one, if you're going to brand a gas station, you should enforce that they can't gouge the market. In a surplus market, we should be making that gas a little bit more affordable so we have somewhere for the oil to go, not the other way around. As you can see behind me, I own vehicles. This is two of them. And I am a consumer that buys things even in a bad economy, but I don't want ripped off. Today, I got charged twice what gasoline should have cost. I put $6.71 gasoline in a four and a half gallon tank. The other day, I put $15 to fill up the Jeep behind me at the same gas station. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you that the price of gasoline has gone significantly up instead of down because of price gouging. And if we're going to change anything in this country, we need to change the fact that people price gouge 
to try to buffer their pockets instead of keeping the economy going. Right now should be the best time for shipping companies, should be the best time for moving companies, should be the best time for companies that rent or lease vehicles that can fuel them up and get them going. No, we can't do that because we're paying extra money on our gas. We're getting gouged. So if you're tired of getting gouged, I would like a like, a subscribe, and a post. Hashtag stop gouging my wallet. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Peace out.